My Pretend Pastry Kitchen. I'm Emma, and today I'll be showing you four recipes for healthier frozen sweet treats. We have our cantaloupe donuts that are drizzled with chocolate and peanut butter. These are true fruit inspired yogurt and chocolate dipped berries, regular and vegan. We have Snickers inspired dates and a yogurt bark that just uses up all of the leftovers. Let me show you how to make it. To start the yogurt chocolate dipped berries, we're gonna wash our berries and then dry them super thoroughly because if any moisture is left, then it'll repel any toppings we try and put on them. I've laid out my berries of choice on this sheet of parchment paper that's on a baking sheet. And now we're just gonna dip each berry into our yogurt. I have this vegan strawberry yogurt, so I'm gonna make some of these vegan and a little bit more flavorful. Then we're gonna pop these in the freezer and let them sit for an hour before we do anything else with them. So now we have all of this leftover yogurt that I've already dug my fingers through with berries. So we're actually going to make another frozen sweet treat out of it. Um, I'm just going to dump this on another baking sheet covered with parchment paper and maybe add a little bit extra yogurt. And I've washed up some more berries and we're just going to sprinkle those across the top of the pan and then put this aside for now. So now my yogurt dipped berries are all frozen, so I'm going to melt some more chocolate and then we're going to dip these berries in the chocolate, return them to the parchment paper, then return the sheet to the freezer, and then they'll be all done and ready to enjoy. So my first few turned out pretty well, but then the shock between the two temperature differences was getting really difficult to handle. So if you want to be lazy like me, I just took some of the chunks of the chocolate and popped them on top and I'm going to kind of smooth them down and work with it a little bit so that the tops are nicely covered. It might not look the best, but they're going to taste incredible. To make our next sweet treat, we're going to do date Snickers. Um, so to start, I have pitted dates, but if you don't, that's no problem. Just cut them down the center, pull the pit out, and then lay them out kind of like a hot dog bun or like a baked potato, just like this, on a sheet of parchment paper on top of a baking sheet, just like with our other two sweet treats. Then I'm going to put peanut butter inside of a Ziploc bag and use that as a piping bag to fill the center of each date. <laughs> Now, if I just snip the corner off of this piping bag with my scissors, I can use it to pipe. Once I'm done with the peanut butter, I'm gonna pipe this into another Ziploc bag and then set it aside so that we can use it again for our other sweet treats. Now I have put some semi-sweet chocolate chips into a microwave safe dish and I'm going to heat it up in the microwave in 30 second intervals until it's completely melted and smooth. Now drown each date in the melted chocolate and then I'm going to use this little spatula to scrape off the excess. Before the chocolate dries, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on top of each date. And then your date snickers are all done. You just got to pop them in the freezer for at least an hour and then they're ready to be enjoyed. For our next dessert, I'm going to start by chopping up a cantaloupe into slices and then we're going to use a cookie cutter and an apple core to make little donut shapes. I'll show you how to do it. Now I'm just taking
taking the rinds off of the outer edges of the donuts and I'm doing that by making a little incision in the rind right here and then right below the green part kind of cutting away and then just spin it and kind of let gravity do the work for you. Now I'm gonna transfer these slices to a sheet of parchment paper. So now I've taken our spare peanut butter from earlier and put it in a cup so that it stands up like a piping bag. And I did the same with a bunch of chocolate chips. I'm gonna add this to the microwave and microwave it in 30 second intervals until it's smooth and melted. While my chocolate is melting, I'm just gonna pat dry the cantaloupe slices because the moisture will repel the chocolate. So now my chocolate is melted and I pulled the yogurt bark back out because we're actually gonna drizzle chocolate and then the peanut butter across both of these simultaneously. Cut a small opening in the corner of your Ziploc bag and then pipe. Now I'm gonna microwave the peanut butter for only 15 seconds, and then we're gonna cut a small opening in the corner of the Ziploc bag and repeat what we did with the chocolate with the peanut butter. Now pop both of these in the freezer for at least an hour and then both are done and ready to be enjoyed. Here are all of our finished frozen healthier sweet treats. We have our cantaloupe donuts with chocolate and peanut butter drizzled on top and then our true fru inspired yogurt and chocolate dipped berries, the regular and the vegan ones. Our Snickers inspired dates and the yogurt bark with all of the leftovers. A ton of overlap in all of the ingredients and super easy, barely need a recipe, just measure with your heart. Uh, if you try any of these out and if you like them especially, please let me know how it went. And if you like my content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what you wanna bake with me next. I can't wait to bake with you again. See ya.